you know, we have a very diverse population from very, the very, very wealthy to the very, very poor to the, you know, very well off. Forty percent of the population, I believe, is minority. For New York presents Good Cops, the men and women of the 7th Precinct have earned the trust of people on the Lower East Side. Last year, they turned down hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes. We just can't be bought, we don't have a price. Being a New York City cop is a dream come true, and you can't buy dreams with money. For New York is proud to donate $500 to the PBA Widows and Orphans Fund on behalf of the officers of the 7th Precinct. Good Cops, for New York, brought to you by your local Dodge dealer and the new Dodge. We've got a core group of 500, approximately 500 employees in the maintenance department, uh, a significant number of whom have been working with the 747 from the time it was uh, delivered by Boeing uh, to uh, the very first customers, uh, so we're fortunate to have that level of talent available to us. This crew is stripping and polishing a mirror-finished bronze door at 520 Madison Avenue. Arcade is really taking a leadership role. They are investing in new technologies. Uh, one example is their scanner technology that is really helping to transform the industry. They're also acting as a consolidator, uh, helping to encourage uh, the consolidation of the industry that's taking what was once a sleepy industry and helping to prepare it to compete in a new environment. They focus on training their people, on providing them with the appropriate technology that they can bring to an assignment. Here at 520 Madison Avenue, it takes about four hours for the crew to complete a drop to work its way from the roof to the street. If it's raining or windy, the cleaners don't get on the scaffold. Not everyone enjoys this work. These are the top guns of the building services industry. The tools of their trade are brushes, squeegees, and plain soap and water. But Arcade's window cleaners, dedicated to a routine but necessary task, exemplify the tradition and the philosophy of their company. A lot of things in a, in a company change. As the sun sets on the city of brotherly love, the night air is filled with a spotlight of surprises from street musicians... To a stroll down trendy South Street, nightlife in Philadelphia is as hot and spicy as good old salsa. If you're looking for that Latin flavor, stop by the Five Spot, a club offering two floors of dancing and two different styles. Five Spot is a place where people of uh, all different types of people go to. They have different nights where they do different types of uh, entertainment. Some nights are salsa, some nights are swing, some nights are hip-hop. Uh, so all different types of people do go. And when you want to slow things down a bit, jazz lovers can cozy up to the tunes of local and world-renowned jazz artists. Right here on the corner of Broad and Walnut at Zanzibar Blue. Visitors, especially the Republican politicians, will quickly learn this is a city full of culture and character. My store is all about having a good time. And, uh, no. <laughs> the Republican? Hmm. So when you tire of an evening stroll down South Street or listening to a solo on Chestnut Street, you can express yourself virtually at Dave and Buster's, a 10,000 square foot warehouse of high tech fun. From a game of pool to virtual golfing or riding a donkey. Sorry, delegates, no elephant games here yet. Dave and Buster's is a crowd pleaser, a place for the old and the young. A place where political candidates can practice those two little words. 